Hey everybody, thanks for watching Badass Pilot the Series. As promised, I've got to answer some of your questions, so let's get right to them. Okay, so Lucas Reznevsky asked, Hey Art, love the video. I have a question. Why didn't you make a career as a commercial pilot after you left the military? That kind of flying never really appealed to me. I wanted to do aerobatics and fly high speed and stuff like that. I don't particularly enjoy flying the type of flying that airline pilots do. Uh, Brian H., first and most important, Semper Fi. Was wondering if your Harrier has all the original electronics. Well, the answer, um, Brian, is no, it doesn't. We've taken all the weapon systems out of it. We saved about three or 400 pounds with wiring and some boxes and stuff like that. We use civilian navigation and civilian instruments for much of it, and civilian radios too, of course. So the answer is no, we don't, it's not a stock airplane on the inside. Next is from Paul Wanders. Have you ever flown it like to a vacation spot? Air shows are a lot of fun for us, so it's, it, you can say that the, the air shows are kind of a vacation spot. It's a lot of work, but the team generally enjoys doing it. The air show you saw was Lakeland, Florida, nice, bright, and sunny. So yes, we do fly it to vacation spots, but only for work. Chris Kane asked, any chance of bringing one over for a season of air shows in the uh, future? Be great to see one fly in the UK again. We tried that several years ago, and the administrative process, it just became absolutely monumental and unsurmountable. We've tried, we probably will not be successful. Hey Art, have you ever done any flights over ships? Well, yes I have. I think I've got over 400 carrier landings off of those various ships, and they're all vertical landings. So yes, the answer to that is yes, I have. Chilad Chief, you name it, I flew it. F-35 Lightning, uh, I have not flown the F-35 Lightning except in a simulator. That aircraft was not in service when I was at uh, test pilot school. I meant just about everything that was in service at that time in 1985. F-35 came along much later, but I have flown it in a simulator, yes. The FAA guy said he would shut him down if he broke the rules. Does anyone know what rules he could possibly break? And the answer to that is all of them. Every time we take off, there's somebody watching us like a hawk. They know our altitude, they know our airspeed. There are rules in the sky about doing aerobatics, how fast you can go, how low you can go, and every one of them is a uh, FAA flight violation, which could mean that you'd lose your license. It's, they're serious about it. What's the primary role of a Harrier since it doesn't use afterburner engines? Well, it's used by different services in different countries in a slightly different way. The Marine Corps uses it as close air support, and it does have a secondary air-to-air -air role. It has an air-to-ground radar and an air-to-air -air radar, so it can do actually do both, but the primary mission, the way the Marine Corps used it, was as air-to-ground support, close air support for the Marines on the ground. Most of the airplanes that have afterburners also have another mission as an interceptor, where you have to go from point A to point B very quickly. That's where an afterburner comes into value, but one of the key features of the Harrier it was so versatile, you didn't have to put it on an aircraft carrier 200 miles across the ocean. It was close to where you needed it and close to where the action is. Ty Kavanagh also asked, uh, what's the top speed of the Harrier? Uh, they vary slightly. This one, the published statistics of a Sea Harrier are 650 knots. That's about 720, 730 miles an hour, somewhere around there. And this airplane is very capable of doing that straight and level. Why are they getting rid of the Harrier? Well, the, the fundamental thing you need to understand, uh, Nikita, is that the airplanes are weapon systems and they are designed to counter a specific threat. We buy new airplanes like the F-35 designed to counter a threat that may exist years from now, years into the future. It includes all kinds of improvements. So that is one of the reasons that we, we get rid of an obsolete weapon system to make room for a much advanced weapon system. And I'll tell you, I've talked to some Harrier pilots who've flown the F-35. And the F-35, you hear in the news, it's got problems for this and that. And the question I asked of him, if you had to go to war today, which one would you rather be in? Hands down, the answer was the F-35. That's a very strong statement coming from somebody who's in the business and gonna have to put his life in the hands of the weapon system. They'd rather take the F-35 than the Harrier. Joseph Coleman <clears throat> has asked, asked, how much do you spend on fuel? And um, I think the answer is everything. It's always fuel. Um, the Harrier just, it, it consumes it faster than you can pour it out of a five gallon bucket. It uses a gallon every two seconds in the hover. It averages 1.3 gallons per mile. I didn't stutter there. That's the average over uh, start taxi, take off, climb the altitude and descent. The Grey Ghost asks, 
Why not buy a cheaper old MiG that could take cheaper quality fuel too? The Harrier draws people to air shows. We did this as a financial venture. I love the Harrier, but I looked at the statistics of what were the favorite acts at air shows. Hands down, it's the Harrier way over top of a MiG. I mean, there's some MiGs out there flying. They're cheaper. Yep, they don't draw the crowds. We've had people come all the way from the UK and from Germany just to watch us perform at a little teeny place called Culpeper, Virginia. Uh, that says something. SSJWES asked the question though, does he have AP, AARP insurance on this? Uh, no, we don't have AARP insurance on the airplane and AARP doesn't sell insurance. How much does a Harrier jet cost to buy as a civilian? Well, that is probably the most asked question I get and I generally uh, just refuse to, to answer it. That was a private deal between the seller and the buyer that we agreed to, but I think you can probably get one for seven million Pepsi points. Now, the more Pepsi you drink, the more great stuff you're going to get. Sure beats the bus. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot for watching and for submitting all your questions. If you'd like to see more exciting videos, subscribe to the AARP YouTube channel. And if you've got more questions for me, follow me on Twitter. I'm at ArtNalls1, the number one, and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Thanks a lot.